and this is an issue on the con on the coronavirus. Uh, I should want to show you something that uh, was uh, in a daily uh, Yahoo News. Uh, someone said that teen teenager uh, chilling in from discovery after tiger fly and coronavirus. This is how much our government. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to get in to people that how di how dangerous this uh, disease is, and uh, now our government isn't doing anything like it. They they're saying they're doing something, but all those measures that they're taking to prevent this virus from spreading in Australia isn't just just is just not enough. And it's already been today is the thirty first of January, and it's been issued as a world uh, health problem. So uh, the, the virus is spreading. So the passenger was on board a Tiger flight flight from Melbourne to um, to Gold Coast. Uh, there was a man infected, and uh, this international student Manuela, who who studied English on the Gold Coast, said that 172 passengers were on board of this Tiger f Tiger flight, and um, uh, she rang she rang the Queensland Health in immediately, so she was worried that might, she might uh, get this virus, which has a as you remember 14 days incub two weeks incubation period, so it can be. In fact, it, it, it's been that there's evidence that this virus infects people before the symptoms show. There was that's evidence it, it, it happened in Germany, so and it's been already known, it's known. But our government, so here, here, what, what she said, despite a warning explain a possible two week incubation for people exposed to the infection, students said the health department simply advised her. Uh, to be more hygienic and go about her business. What the fuck is this? What is this shit? Uh, I was concerned because I've been reading things about how big this issue this issue is and uh, This is how authorities were wor worrying about people that some someone playing she told Yahoo News So she's just saying that basically that they, they haven't done anything that they didn't, they didn't, they didn't introduce the points of See, the, the virus already spread around across the China, so it's not just in one region only, like Wuhan and uh, and the and its province. So it's spread all over China now, and the planes from that country is still coming into our country, and infected people just travel from one, from one city to another, infecting others. And there's nothing. And she said, like, look, I'm worried about if I have, you know, the this virus, and. Um, our government isn't doing anything. They just said, oh, just go about your business. No, not to worry. So, uh, so that's what it said. I'm sure she poses no risk to the public. Mel decided she would take herself to the hospital anyway, give her away, share information, encouraging anyone who, who can have contact with the virus, seek urgent medical attention. They gave me an evaluation and stayed uh, three hours while uh, testing. They said, I was fine and they could go home. So um, either this virus, um, either this virus isn't that uh, contagious, which it actually is. Uh, I don't know. Like I don't know what's going on. This this the, our government just letting planes in, let the sick people go around the business, and uh, this is just what's really frustrating. This is just you don't know how safe you are if you go out out in the public in and you're not wearing a mask to say you don't have to wear a mask you don't have to you know do anything you know like um so uh yeah i mean you know this is really pisses me off because uh it's, it's terrible you know our government isn't doing anything like to prevent no quarantine well they only quarantine people who are coming from wuhan to go into Christmas Island, but they haven't done anything, and it's a world global emergency now. And like this, sh this shit, this this disease is spreading all over the place, and uh, we don't know how many infected people are and how many infected will be because only it has an incubation period of two weeks, which infected people can infect others, and people just go about, uh, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. So. Uh, they were taking things lightly, especially because the big worldwide issue 
Uh, the two of me is a normal, normal thing. So, yeah, that, that's an update for today. I, I don't know what's going on, but like, uh, the, the, the funny thing with these bureaucrats, um, the uh, the health department, the World Health Department said that uh, uh, the World Health Department said that it's a world world issue now, uh, the world health problem. But they said, oh, you still can have planes coming from China and we're not going to stop this uh, because they care about tourism industry, they care about people traveling, you know, like uh, they care about, you know, like all this money uh, invested, uh, you know, all this business that's going on, you know, the, and they said, we don't need to worry about that, you know, you don't need to worry about it. So, yeah, it's a world issue, yes, it's all over the world now, spreading, but uh, this plane still can go on with, and people can go with their daily life with, like, like, they not possess no threat or anything. So, this is, this is really frustrating because, um, yeah, I mean, what can I say, you know, this is, the, the, all the kids about money, you know, just, you know, the, the, of course it's going to affect if you stop the planes coming and, 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 and uh, make a quarantine for 14 days or two weeks time for people coming from China or anywhere from the rest of the world, which, but, uh, um, of course that will affect, uh, um, financially, it will in, it affect our, our tourist industry, but... People saying that uh, there's so many Chinese came and just you know they're going on uh, vacations, going traveling all over the country, and you don't know how many people. I'm not saying anything about Chinese. I'm just saying that they, you don't know how many people are infected there, and they, there's nothing has been done to actually prevent this spreading in our country. This is terrible. I mean, you know, you you make your own decision, but I think this is. All the kids about all the all the kids. The way I see the world, all the care about money. All the smart countries, like Russia, Belarus, uh, even North Korea. I mean, I'm saying that the villain country. You know, like people who say that, that you know that the government there is terrible because because of whatever the you know because they're not democratic. But they shut the borders. They didn't care about money. They don't care about all these flies coming. They just say no. We know we don't want this stuff here, and they just went on quarantine and closed all the borders. They're so smart, but we, you know, like there's all this world trade and all this. We don't need to stop world trade. The the the, the health department, the world, the the world. Uh, health department said we don't need to stop the trade. We need to stop the planes coming. Of course we do. We need to stop that. But the, because they they the problem is with the world uh, health organization of world health department. They need to care about health and not not the the money that you know it's not their problem. But they but they so bureaucratic that they. Because they're so governed, so governed by all this. Uh, they say, "Oh, we're gonna stop the world trade." We don't need, they say we don't need to stop the world trade, but it's not their concern. They're concerned about the health of the people, which they're not doing. This is how ridiculous this gets. You know, they all they care about is you know keep 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 on business going, and you know people sick are traveling, and you know and all that. But they haven't done anything. They said, "Yeah, that's a world issue," but. You know, we don't need to stop the planes, we don't need to stop world trade. This is terrible. This is, I don't know, this is just horrible. So anyway, I'll leave it at that and uh, you just take it easy and I hope uh, it gets better than this. Take care. Bye.